Hi everyone, it's teacher Janelle and I am spending some time getting some fresh air in my backyard. My backyard has always been a place that I enjoy going and sitting and as I sit here right now I'm hearing lots of different birds in my backyard. Every year our family enjoys a family of finches that comes and they actually live inside this magnolia tree in the little white house and so we've been watching some finches coming in and out of that house and we're hoping that there'll be baby birds in there soon. Looking at this tree reminded me of a story that I really like and it's called Stuck. I was reminded of this book this week because I'm feeling stuck right now in my house. Even though I can come outside and enjoy the fresh air, I can't go to school and I can't go to some of the stores that I like visiting and I can't go see my friends and I'm feeling a little stuck. So this story helped me think about what it must feel like to feel stuck. This story is by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose, and that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Oh no, that's his cat. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. Do you have any ideas of what happened next? The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. The family car to knock down the front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, and an orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had some place to be. A small boat to knock down an orangutan, and a big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, and the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. They all got stuck. 
I'm going to show this picture really close so that you can see all the things in that tree that got stuck. A fire engine was passing by and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the fire engine and then the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be missed, and Floyd knew he would be in big trouble. And then Floyd had an idea. He went to fetch a saw. He lined it up the best he could and hurled it up to the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in that tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted, though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. And I'm going to show you the last page of this book. It shows all the things that were still stuck in the tree. As I mentioned earlier, you might be feeling stuck right now in the house, right? And just like Floyd had so many ideas of things to throw into the tree to get things unstuck, you probably have a lot of ideas of things that you can do while you're stuck at home. If you want to tell me what they are, I would love for your mom and dad to email me and tell me some of the things you're doing while you're stuck at home. I have one activity I want to show you tonight that maybe you could do a different day, and it's to make your own stuck tree. You're going to need a piece of brown paper. That's going to be the tree trunk. So we're going to make it into a circle. You're also going to need some scotch tape. You're going to use that to tape the trunk of the tree, just like that. Probably two pieces of tape would be fine. And once you've got your tree trunk, you can stand it up. I'm going to move my camera so you can see my tree. Once you've got the tree trunk, you can stand it up just like that. And now it's time to make the branches. There's a few ways you can do this. You can go outside your house when you're on a walk or when you're in your backyard, and you can find some branches to put. And the goal is to try to balance as many branches as you can on your tree. These two branches from my yard came from a bougainvillea plant and a, I don't know what this one came from, but it's gonna go right here, a fuchsia plant. This one came from a fuchsia plant. So you could do it like that, all right? Or another option is to use some popsicle sticks and get, just get a green marker or some green paint and color your sticks green if you're wanting to do some coloring. So you can do either, and if you color your sticks green, you simply stack them up just like that on your tree trunk. The last thing you're gonna do once you put your tree together is you're going to go around your house and you're going to try to find some things. I found a little rubber duck that I'm gonna put in my tree and the goal is to try to get it to balance without falling out just like in the story. I also found a tiny little payloader that I can put in the tree. 
Oh, and one more thing I found around my house is a dinosaur. So I'm gonna try to put that in my tree. And now I've recreated the tree from stuck. I hope this is maybe one activity you can do while you're home. If you do it, I would love to see a picture of it if your mom and dad wanna send it to me. Teacher Janelle, like I've said before, misses you so very much, but I'm really enjoying making videos for you, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.